Hello everybody, SP Slayer here, and welcome to another mod review with me, of course. And uh, today we're reviewing an, uh, another one of the SCP mods that I've been looking at. Uh, namely because I couldn't find something that I could understand well enough to show you guys. <laughs> that wasn't just something that I've already shown you guys. <laughs> I'm trying. I can't find much interesting on Curse Forge that wouldn't take like an entire series to explain because, dear God, they're complex mods. <laughs> I'm not joking. There's so many that have like so many different features, and these are so simple. It it's so nice to actually not have to like take an hour to go through an entire mod and figure out what the fuck I'm talking about. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, uh, today's mod is SCP-6096, The Blanket Ghost. Yes, this is an actual thing. This, this, this exists. I read the document. It's got some interesting tidbits to it. It's basically a ghost assassin. <laughs> it's basically just a ghost assassin. That's, that's the best way to explain it. Um, so yeah, this entity exists literally just called the blanket ghost and uh well it can't be spawned during the day i don't know hold on you guys can't hear the sound of the game for some reason why is that not picking up hold on there we go now it should be picking up you hear that oh i'm gonna be quiet and let you guys hear it there you go so, yeah. Uh, that's the sound when you try to summon it during the day. Now, this entity is interesting because, um, they're gonna turn at night. Time set night. It literally just didn't spawn. But, when you summon it, it says this A ghostly presence will haunt you. And then it just chases you down and kills you if you're in survival mode. Uh, it does one-tap you no matter what you're wearing, including netherite armor. Uh, so, yeah, apparently this is a challenge for anyone who can try and figure out how to survive it. And then the mod developer will probably just count that as a bug and fix it. But... But, yeah, I'm not gonna bother showing you how the hell that works. It literally just... It, it's not that big of a thing. It just kind of kills you. So yeah, the thing about this SCP is that it's basically a humanoid shape under a sheet. And that is it. And any attempt to hurt it will result in nothing happening. You can't you can't you can't hurt it. Which is also true when you're in survival mode to this thing. You can't hurt anything within like a ten block radius of this thing. So, uh, how do you deal with it? Well, that's where this crucifix comes in. Uh, if, if he would hold still. I would like to show this without all the trees in the way. So yeah, what you do is you get within ten blocks of this guy, and then do this. And he's now summoned back to the underworld, where he can eventually just reappear whenever the hell he wants. So yeah, you can banish him. Also, the crucifix is made with sticks, a diamond, and any type of wood. So yeah, it's kind of expensive to make, but you're going to want a lot of them, because you don't know when the fuck he's going to appear again. And he will hunt you down. He does not care. He will hunt you. <laughs> and he will end you. <laughs> that is his entire goal in existence. So, yeah. He is just going to hunt you down. Uh, but yeah. That is... That is about all this mod is. It was very interesting. Uh, and I wanted to show it. But also, I... I I'm also gearing, gearing up to, uh, actually put all of these in a mod pack and do a little bit of a survival with all of these SCPs that this guy's made. 
It's honestly, they're honestly very good. I love, I, I love them. They're very good. I'm going to have a lot of fun trying to survive them. <laughs> oh, God. Especially one of the ones... Especially some of the ones that I haven't reviewed yet. I want to review all of them. One at a time. I believe they all deserve their own review. That is why I'm totally going through them. Uh, but yeah. Uh, that is all, that's all this one has. It's very interesting. I never thought of just, like... Someone just making a mod dedicated to a single SCP like this. But it works. It works very well. It, it works very, very well. Uh, but yeah. Cool SCP. I finally got to read an SCP that I haven't read in a while. Or read at all, really. I, I didn't really read it until I fucking found this one on CurseForge and then I just read through it as best I could. <laughs> Is that that line of an article? a very interesting concept. I, I have never seen this one. It was very new, and I liked it. I also like the model. It's very good. But yeah, that is all I have for this video. So I hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you should join the ranks of the SCP Foundation, do shoot the like button, slay those comments, and contain that subscribe button. Anyway, guys, peace!